So tonight is developing your spending plan. Now tell me, who has ever heard the word budget? Have you ever tried to use a budget? Do you like using a budget? Actually, I do. Budget. Budget. Yeah, or budget. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think a budget is like a straight jacket. I can't get what I want. I can't go shopping when I want to go shopping. I'm tied up. I have to stay within my budget. But I'm hoping by the time we're done here, you guys will feel like it's freedom not a straight jacket. So, here's an example. It's Christmas time, which we're almost there. Mm -hmm. According and to the stores, we were there months ago. <laughs> yeah, right, they've got all the Black Friday sales already. Um, but so you go shopping for all your, and you put it all on your credit card, because it's easier. And you buy things and all, you go shopping on Black Friday, and then you keep going shopping through the season and because you keep seeing gifts for different people and then in January you get your credit card bill and you can't believe that you spent $600 on Christmas presents and you don't have $600 to pay that credit card bill so you end up paying that credit card bill over off over the rest of the year the other option you can do is in January you can decide this next Christmas, I'm going to spend $600 on presents. And so every month, you put $25 back mm -hmm. in a special savings account, and you have the money for Christmas. Can you guys see the screen OK, or is no, this in your way? See it. Is this in the way? No. Let me move it. See if I can move it without knocking it down. Is that good? Now you probably can't see them. Can you see yeah, I can. I can. You're fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what did I do with my clicker? So that's $50 a month you were saying? Yeah, $50. I said $25, didn't okay. I? Okay. Sorry. $50. Yes. So sorry. Yeah, it's $50 a month. And then that equals $600 that you have in your savings account. And so on Black Friday, you'll already have not $500, but actually $550 that you can take that cash out of your savings account, go do your shopping, and when the cash is gone, you're done. And you decide ahead of time what you're gonna spend it on. Or maybe in August, there's this big sale on something that you were already planning on getting somebody for Christmas. So you take the money out and you go get it then when it's on sale. Put it away, make sure you don't give it to them ahead of time because then they'll expect another Christmas present. Mm. So just that keeps you from overspending. Now the same, and then that's just what a budget is. You're deciding ahead of time what you're gonna spend your money on or a spending plan. So you've got all these different categories and it's the same like what we have up here of what you're gonna spend your money on. And you know what you spend your money, you should know what you spend your money on or you can figure it out. Now what about car insurance? Mm. Very important. That, yeah, that comes like, <laughs> yeah. Very important. Yes, yeah, very important. It usually comes every six months. And what my son used to do is, on the month that that credit, or the car insurance came due, he had to eat ramen noodles all month in order to pay I, for his. Many years ago, I have everything with my insurance company on the monthly payment plan. Mm -hmm. It is so much easier to keep that going. Right. It's not good when you have to change it because the changes take more than a month to process yeah. and the amounts change, but that monthly payment is perfect. And that's great if, but some insurance companies will charge you a fee for doing that. They don't, no. they don't charge very much, maybe a dollar a month. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want every dollar I can get. So, but you can do that same type of thing. Say your, your um, car insurance is $150 a month, or every six months. So that's, the, here's the 25. It would be $25 a month that you put back, and then six months, you just pull that money out of your savings account. 
you, and you don't have to worry about eating ramen noodles all month unless you like ramen noodles. And then you've got the money saved for it. Mm. Same follows for your gas, your electricity bill. In the say your, your gas bill averages seventy five dollars a month, but in the summertime it's less than that. In the wintertime it's more. And you're laughing, Sister Carnes. Yeah, because I'm on budget, so I have to seventy nine dollars a month. What? Yes. Hundred and seventy nine dollars yes. a month. Wow. Yes. Here. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Is it your gas and your electricity and your water? No. It's just electricity or just, just gas? Electricity and, and the gas is one one sixty seven, one one seventy nine a month. That's the budget. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow. Where are you living? That's the budget. That's crazy. Yes, it is. There's yes, something man. weird going on. They are. Yeah. That's well, mine's, what it is. Mine's much less than that. My house is. Yeah. But that's what mine is. Wow. Wow. They won't change it. That's what they say. That's what you used to say it is for the house. You might want to track your usage and see. Who live before me? I guess they go by it, but who live before you a lot of times. They, they charge you. you. But yeah. That. But yeah. they do. But you've been gone. I mean, I, but I still, that's what Mr. Tuff saying. It wasn't you might want to check it. And it looked good. Really? I've done that. I'm just saying that's Have you had a new water heater, Carol? Yeah, I've had a new water heater. Mm -hmm. I've had a new water heater. Tell me to turn your pilot down on that. They sometimes see your gas and your water heater makes your heating bill go up. But that's way I don't know, but I mean, I'm telling you, that's what it is every month. Just, that's when terrible. When I first moved there, that wasn't that high. But as the month, years went by, and it just got up to. That's the budget. So I'm telling wow. you, my budget. The that's crazy. Is the budget. Wow. And, well, I don't doubt mine's going to go up because they just changed my meters because they can't see yeah. how mine is They, they changed my meter too. The what is the gas meter? I guess they changed. Yeah, they changed my gas. Yeah, I got to pay for that. You know, you got to pay for that. Wow. Too. That's crazy. Well, well, but anyway, I'm my right numbers here. that I'm using are seventy five okay. a month. All right. And so if you put that seventy five dollar or if you allocate that seventy five dollars every month for your gas, and in the summer it would be less, in the winter it'd be more, then and I know that's not a good number for you guys. But anyway, then yes, Ruthie. Sorry. Um so what is uh what did you call that again then? This is just the gas, gas, gas okay, meter. Thank you, because I saw car insurance on the Yeah, gas. yeah, this is the gas. So I'll go to the next one. And if it's $75 a month and you put that back, and in the winter months, then you'd pull it out of your savings account. In the summer months, when it's less than that, you put it into your savings account. And it is exactly like the budget plan that you, you sign up for mm -hmm. with the utility company. But the difference is you're keeping the money instead of them keeping it. Hey guys, how are you? Hi Terry. Hey Dieter Bond. PowerPoint okay? I see. Okay. And the same goes for repairs on your car or tires or anything. You know you're going to have to do that. So you allocate every month a certain amount for each of that. And then when it's time, you have the money. Okay, I want to talk about what's the difference between needs and wants. What are some examples of needs? Car insurance. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. House insurance. True. Yeah. Food. 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 Yes. Repair. Electricity. Yes. What about wants? Red lobster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people will say, but that's food. But I don't need red lobster. Oh, yeah. What else? Clothes. Wants. What? Clothes. Well, that's a necessity. Well, this is true. Yeah. Entertainment. Entertainment. Right. Yeah. And what you have. I mean, you need basic clothes. Yes, that's true. When I did, yes, Ruthie. So it's basically between the, the basic needs and then mm -hmm. the kinds. Yeah. Is where it gets in the wants. Right. Yeah. That's true. When I when I did this in the Dominican Republic. The mother of the family I stayed with when we talked about needs and wants, 
in, in the Dominican Republic, their electricity goes on and off. It's not constant. So anyway, we were talking about the difference between needs and wants, and she said, electricity is a want. You don't need it all the time. True. And, you know, I was like, wow, we're kind of spoiled up here. Yeah. And, and, and this was in the summertime, you know, it's really hot. Of course, they um, have fans going all the time and the windows. Did they have refrigerators? They run on gas. Oh. Um. They have propane. Mm -hmm. And they can't drink water before you use the water. When you take a shower, you have to close your eyes and you don't ever tip your head oh. up like that. You don't use it to brush your teeth. Bottled water is delivered. So, okay, the four walls are basically your needs. Housing, food, clothing, and transportation. So you gotta have your house to live in, you gotta have clothes to wear, you gotta have food to eat, and you need to have transportation to get, whatever, you know, either a car or a bus or something to get to a job or to the doctor or to get the groceries. Those are your, the four things that you need. So those are the wants that they fall in there, but like, Sister Grimes said that expensive clothes, that's a want, not a need. Yes, Ruthie. I have to think in with transportation, I can't walk. Yes, like that's that true. A car, I think I'm spoiled with that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I need to get to the doctor, say I've ever broken a leg or something. Yeah, something exactly. Like, yeah, then I can't walk. <laughs> so it, it, it's all a matter of perspective. Yeah, yeah. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you know, a basic car can get you where you need to go. You don't need a $50,000 suburb. No. Yeah. But one thing with your budget, don't forget the fun. Because if you don't have the fun in there, then the budget is not going to work. The fun is the grease that makes the budget go. It's just like your car. you got to put oil in the car or it's not going to, the engine's going to freeze up on you. If you don't have fun to grease your budget, your budget is just going to freeze up and you're not going to do it. So you got to have meals and entertainment and vacation, even if it's not a lot, but you got to plan for that. So, Judy, how did you say the fun is the grease to make the, the budget the, work? The budget work. Thank you. Would you say, add on to that and say within reason? Within reason, but you have to plan for it. So, like if you Let's say that you have budgeted $50 for fun, and your friends call and say, I'm, I'm talking more young people here, but the friends call and say, let's go to the bar and watch the game. Well, you can decide, am I going to spend my whole $50 here with my friends, or am I going to say, why don't you all come over to my house and everybody bring some beer and we'll watch the game here? That's gonna be a lot cheaper. Then and but but you can choose to spend all of the fifty dollars that night, or you can choose to do something different. But you've already planned that that's what you're going to spend. Does that help? Okay. What if the refrigerator breaks down or your car breaks down? What do you do? And it's a major expense that you didn't plan for. Kick. What? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you kick it, then maybe it might start working. But for those things, you need an emergency savings fund that will pay for those things. Okay. But what is an emergency? What constitutes an emergency? The other part of your fund money that you said. Well, what? Your, your emergency fund is whatever your budget is, you have to take $10 out of that or $50, whatever it is. You $50 for fund, $50 for budget. Mm -hmm. emergency fund. Right. So that if the refrigerator goes out, then you can you have the money to put, fix it. But what if, what if um, the pizza boy comes with the pizza and you don't have enough cash? Is that an emergency? No. It is if I don't have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not an emergency. You have to plan ahead. Is he sitting at my door? You're supposed to ask him when you how much is it going to cost? Uh, so, it, hold on a second. Okay, I got it, or I'll call 
call you back. I have the money. I can now have my feet. He's at your door. But you should have known the price before you got there. You know, oh, that. Let me add, I want a supreme pizza with the golden flakes on it. And then he gets there and you say $500. <laughs> I didn't want $500 pizza. That's why you have to add. And people who don't use their mouth and ask, get, take it. <laughs> you ought to teach this class. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> okay. Let's go through a sample budget. And that's what my little board is for. And I need to know who wants to run the calculator and add things up. You wait for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Wait, John. I'll do it. I just turned it on. Too sweet. Thanks, Lurthy. Okay, give me an example of your monthly income. Oh, let's see, the average American income? No, yeah, for you guys. I mean, I'm not trying to be nosy or anything, because I, I want this budget to make, to be um, relevant to you guys, and not some pie in the sky thing. Right, I'm just saying like $1,000 a month, or okay. $800 a month, 750 somewhere in. What does everybody want me to put? 1000 Okay, we got thousand dollars in the income. Do we have any other income? Any miscellaneous stuff? So that thousand dollars was including the child support. So it was like seven hundred dollars. You got three hundred dollars in the in the dream world. It's three hundred. Oh, you really know child support was one fifty. <laughs> You're making this way too complicated. <laughs> Let's just go with the thousand. That's a good number. Thousand. What about child support? Yeah. Okay, then charitable giving. What are we going to give to the church or whatever charities you support? Ten percent. Now, in the real world, that's what the real world. Do you really give? Everybody doesn't always give their ten percent. Well, yeah, we know that. But we Should we start with this? Start with we'll start with ten percent. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how much should we put in emergency savings? Oh boy. Well, that much money to do it. That much money. $50. $25 to $50 a month. Let's do it $25 for now. All right, do we put anything in for retirement? We don't have any. All right, we'll just leave it yeah. that line for now. Okay? Yeah, we're retired. Okay, what do you pay for mortgage or rent? Mortgage payment or rent? No, I'll pay 500 or something. Should we do 500? Yeah. Keeping track of this, Ruthie? <laughs> so, it might be <laughs> supposed to be 100. Add, add these up. Okay. So what about repairs and maintenance on your home? About what would you spend average? We those programs we what? They got programs where you're going to pay so much a month in case uh -huh. you break down. What's it about, like, what? It might be when I was out there. You would skip a bill and pay something. Like, the gas bill might not get paid so that you can pay. But money. let's let's just see. What what and would you? 25. 25 for that? Okay. Now, this says electricity, but let's just lump all the utility bills together. Your electricity, your gas, your water, your trash collection, all that. Two hundred dollars total. What about your cell phone or your regular phone? Fifty-five. I'm gonna do fifty, so it's easier to add up. You have cable, internet. How much do you pay for cable and internet? Much too much. It depends on what cable you have. So just average the cable and internet. Cable and internet, let's say about seventy-five dollars. No. Do you have a house phone on there? I would, I would that say about a hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Hundred. Yeah, a hundred. Yep. Basic cable and basic internet. What about groceries? Now, what I consider groceries would be the food and your paper supplies. Yes, Ruthie? 
We're already at a thousand dollars. I don't know about that. So already? Far. Yeah. Five, seven, eight. Yeah, we've got a little money. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Then we're gonna then we're gonna see. If you budget and use coupon, you can get around hundred and twenty five a month. 125? If you work hard at it, you know, you got to... 125? No. 200? It wouldn't be like 25. I think we're going to Okay, we're going to eat out once in a while. What are we going to spend? Or we're going to go out with our friends? What are we going to do for... One person in my family or two people in my family? Eat out, just going around with a family of four of them. So you're going to say... Sometimes 50. you can have a drink and sometimes you can't. Sometimes you're senior and sometimes you can't. Eating out is $75. 75 That's going out twice. What about vacation? What are we going to have to no, come back for vacation? That's every yeah. three years. <laughs> are we going to save anything for vacation? I'll have them to save. On the third year. <laughs> All right. What do you got like for now? Oh, what about health insurance? Yeah. I have health insurance. Yeah, I have that. You don't? A month? Over a month. You're only paying 200 a month? Yes. I'm paying 610 for me and my son, and it's going to go up to $775. I used to pay 1000 a month, did you? But at a $1,000 budget, mostly likely you have some type of assistant with your medical, so you just have to pay your... Uh, doctor's fee, whatever you might have to go with. Oh, that. true. Uh, so, two hundred for the insurance and fifty dollars for out of pocket. Yeah. Yes. A month. How yeah. much? Thirty dollars. Fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Give or take. I know for some people this isn't. What about your vehicle? <laughs> I'll have one. Gas yeah, one. Well, well, let's talk about uh, a insurance. car payment. I don't know. That's or saving for the next car. Okay, let's put two hundred for the car payment. Okay, what about gas in that car? One hundred fifty to two hundred dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars. Fifty dollars every week. Every week. I'll do one fifty just to keep it on the low side. Okay. We have a thousand dollars though. Yeah. What about vehicle repairs and maintenance? The oil changes and uh, every three months, three months dollars, twenty bucks. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five? Well I did the synthetic. This fifty something every time. Insurance. Oh a hundred a hundred and five dollars. A month? For one vehicle? Yeah. That's my that's my insurance. That's not bad. Every month? Yes. For one car? Yes. Somebody got better, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, yours is better, is it? Mine's not that high. That sounds high for one car. Yeah, it sounds really high to me. It's a brand new car. It's, well, oh. it's, it's well, mine is too. Is it? Yeah. Why don't you go talk to somebody else? It's your district. Red, red line. Honey. Red line. Oh. Okay, what about um, taxes on your car? Oh, well, that was one. Give everything I had. Um, my next set of plates is going to run me about three hundred some dollars. So, so uh, the, app, the lowest now. place ever go, I think, is about eighty something dollars. So this is hundred dollars. Oh, the, the, the car that I'm driving now after this accident it costs twenty-seven dollars to license. Huh? Where you live? <laughs> In Bellevue. Your plates are twenty-seven dollars. Twenty-seven dollars. Well, the car—it's a two thousand two. Uh, and it has well, 98,000 miles. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. When you get the stuff ready, it depends on what kind of shop you're in. If you mm -hmm. go after Christmas and start getting your stuff the next year's Christmas. Like I said, you should be teaching this class. <laughs> well, you know, my son's birthday is at the end of January. It was so great when he was little because that's when all the clearance stuff was on clearance. I think one year I got $135 worth of stuff for like $27. It was awesome. Especially when Zany Brainy was open. Okay, so how much $10 a month? Per Chris. $10 a month? How much were you doing for Christmas? Uh, I, um, Two, if you she's spending $10 a month, if she spends 200 for Christmas, let's say $20 a month. For myself. All right. <laughs> now, this little thing called blow money, yeah. that's the additional grease. That's something that you don't have to keep track of. All these other things you want to keep track of, but this is a monthly allowance that you can spend however you want. So, do we want to put something in there? 50. Yeah, I think it would be like $20 you might run to store, grab your candy bar or a pop. Okay. So what's our total, Ruthie? That's way over. One million, two million. <laughs> 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 Twenty-one forty. Twenty-one forty. Twenty-one forty. Let me not do this in my head. So something that you cut and give you a thousand dollar income, you just cut something uh, way back. We're looking at two thousand. You're looking at thousand dollar income, but that was the average. But if you went by the average person, how they would live off a thousand dollars would be different. But you guys also put in the income of. How somebody else with an income might be three thousand dollars a year a month. Because oh. somebody's paying two hundred dollars short. At a thousand dollars, like I was saying, if you're probably income at a thousand eight hundred or something, you're probably getting some kind of government assistance. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily. You no, should be no. no, not necessarily, no. No. But you wouldn't be able to afford I'm saying that there's over a thousand dollar income that I was saying. She said she could they had to cut something somewhere. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to go through. So. Okay. I think it's 2165. Yeah. That's what I got. So that's way over 1000 I see that. So our shortfall right here is 1165 Okay. So what can we do to make our budget balance? It's okay, Ruthie. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> you were participating in the discussion. That's why I hear <laughs> Check by the needs. Okay. Good job. Okay, needs. This one you have to have. Mm -hmm. This one you have to have. This one you could probably cut back. This one, this one you have to have. Uh, when you say cable you and internet. Saying, I can't see it. Okay, yes. sorry. All right. We got to have the mortgage and the rent or the rent. We got to have the electricity, the utilities. I checked the wrong one. Well, we kind of have to have the upkeep too. Well, we could, if you rented a place, it would be so bad. If you, you rented house, the place, you wouldn't have the upkeep. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to look at how you're living. Right, that's true. So, you want to raise that one? Yeah. yeah. Get a yeah. rental property that you don't have to pay for the upkeep. And you don't have to mow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Sometimes you have to mow. And, and maybe you could find a place that, that it's not so high. And, and maybe something that has electricity. Yeah. Well, well so it's also the rent stuff is, is, is kind of, you can find it too much cheaper, can you? I don't think so. You can find it That's any cheaper than so 500. 500 is good. Well, well you yeah. 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 get a little cheaper than that. What about cable? And internet. That's a need. That's I mean, a, that's a want. So a we'll get, we're, yeah. we're not going to get that one. Mm -hmm. Gross, uh, cable's. Oh, cell phone. That's a one. Where's the cell phone? Fifty dollars. Cell phone's fifty. There's a one too. But that's kind of your cell phone and your cell phone. If you don't have a home phone, you gotta have a phone. Yeah. Some type of phone. Get that ten dollar one for senior citizens. Yeah. Well, we'll leave that one. But what kind of put a, a star across it? 
because we could get a cheaper plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, groceries we need, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Meals and entertainment, yeah. we could go with that without that for a while till we get caught up. We would cut down on the grocery bill. Could we cut down on the grocery bill? What'd you say? It could be like every three months for seventy-five dollars or. So cut that one to twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I can't write with my left hand. That's right. So five hundred dollars to rent. We're going to rent. We're going to have still have the utilities. We're going to try to get a cheaper plan on the cell phone. So what are we going to do? There's a ten dollar plan out there. Okay, we'll do a ten dollar. We get like two hundred minutes and just for the lunch she's talking or something. Back about the right line. Okay. Cable okay, we're gonna leave out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is another one. This one. Yeah, you paid fourteen ninety nine for that TV thing you put in the wall. That's all that. Okay. What is it fifteen a month or it's fifteen period. Oh wow. Groceries. Gonna leave it at two hundred. We're gonna drop. Oh, we're gonna drop it. One hundred twenty-five and start buying bulk. One fifty or one twenty-five. One fifty because you have your paper products. Okay. Are we gonna go out to eat? No. Ten dollars. I mean, we got to eat for ten dollars. Because if you deprive yourself of going out to eat, when you do get your groceries, you're gonna get some high-end groceries. And Good point. Like, oh, I'll just go back to the Health insurance, you're probably not going to have much choice. Health insurance. I could change it, but I don't want to. Out-of-pocket medical expenses, we'll probably have to leave that. Vehicle payment, we'll probably have to leave that. Trade it in, gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you want to change it to? Um, just pay what, what, when the trade-in came in, you didn't have to add too much to it. <laughs> well, it depends on how long you had the car. I mean, you know, you just bought it. So, um, and this, this is not only your payment, but when you get it paid off, it's your saving for your next car. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a hundred. Half a hundred. Okay. Yes. That's not going to change really, but you can't. You just got to sometimes not go somewhere. So you can't. I mean, if you don't have gas, you don't go. So should we cut it back? Mm -hmm. You can cut it down if people want to run you and tell them put gas in your car. Good all the time anyway. 120. You're not going out to eat, you're not going to drive. <laughs> what about repairs? We probably better leave that the same, yeah, the 25. Yeah, because yeah, you want to take, take care of your car so it'll last you. Mm -hmm. Insurance, you're probably not going to be able to get that changed. I want to build. Although, <laughs> I still think. Yeah, we're going to go down to the insurance. You can increase your deductibles and bring it yeah, down. Yeah, and that you can do. Decrease the deductibles, but don't have an accident. And we're going to leave the taxes the same at 50. Clothing, Clothing skip it. 25. Cut it to 25. Well, I don't think you can skip it, especially if you have kids. kids. With kids, I didn't think about it. Haircuts, manicures, that kind of stuff. Every three months, so it can be changed to uh, maybe fifteen. Ten? Yeah, I'm saying ten. What do my kids do? I don't know. You know? Yes. Okay. When we get, what about yes? They are now. What do we have on it? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty a month, which would be two forty a year. I think we. I think it should be. Yes, like that. That's birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. Like it depends on how much family you got. They have birthday. Yeah. It, it depends on the family. You can take car. it down to ten. Take it down to ten. You can take it down to ten. It just depends on the size of the family and, and how much you want church. to give. You ain't got to give everybody in the family something. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna put anything below money this time. Okay, okay. let's end okay. this up. Five, okay. seven. We need to get none in the church anymore. Well, we're we're just gonna add it up okay. and see where we are. Five, seven, eight, thousand, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixty-five. We're still over. Yeah, I think over thousand dollars. 
It's about 1,500. I didn't add it up yeah, exactly, but it's about 1,500. So, so we've done, we done a good job. Now let's. So we're still 500 in the hole. Right. So now let's talk about ways we could reduce. Okay. What could we do to re reduce our rent? Nothing I can do. Use mine. There's not really a whole lot unless you move to a different place, right? Well, 500 we never move into. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you could do anything more. What about your your uh, utilities? You can cut your utilities down as far as the usage. You have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Instead of having your heat at 72 and feel nice and toasty, you might have it at 65 and put on more clothing. You want to plug all the electrical, electrical stuff that you're not using. Yeah, um, yeah the yeah, windows. 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 Yeah. Make sure your windows are sealed so you're yeah. not getting yeah. that. Yeah. Air. And, and you can use air. the natural yeah. air. Yeah. You might have to yeah. yeah. like, hey, run the air conditioning over the, we just don't let the air flow through the house. Mm -hmm. Open so the windows. There's different ways to cut your electricity down okay. a little lower right. than your gas. So that's one that we could cut. We already dropped our cell phone down. What about and groceries? We already cut it down, but what are some other things you could do to save on groceries? Buy bulk. Buy bulk. Coupons. Coupons. You love the. Not always brand name, brand name stuff. Not always buy brand name stuff. That's right. Well, you can also, if you're down to the point where you're going food, uh, isn't the food bank available? You can go to the pantry yeah, and pantry. also. Um, yeah, a lot of people go pantries. Mm -hmm. You might have to change your eating habit. It might not be as healthy as you want it to be. You might take meat out and be, uh, you can do that. You can use your ads where you're still saving. So you can do price, price gap uh, changes. What about doing recipes where you don't use as much meat? Like, I can buy a chicken and get three or four meals out of it. Oh, uh, one chicken? Because okay. what I do first is I roast it. Mm -hmm. And we eat the roast chicken. And then I cut the meat off that's left over. I throw the carcass in the crock pot with water and spices and let it cook overnight and the next day. And then pull mm -hmm. off the meat and then I've got broth. And with that meat and some of the broth, then I make cream chicken on biscuits. And then with the, the chicken that I cut off before, you can have enchiladas or chicken noodle soup with the broth. And you know, you, you know, think about things like that that you can do to the same way with the turkey. You know, if you have turkey for Thanksgiving, then throw the carcass and come Friday this Friday for Thanksgiving. I know it's this right here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm do a lot of turkey though because it's a big bird. The right? thing is, if you let's say you this month, I'm going to buy um, a big roast, uh -huh. a big roast. So that means I cut down all the other meats mm -hmm. so that, and then you cut cut the roast up and section uh -huh. and put it in the freezer. Next month, I'm buying a um, super sized chicken or several work roasters, mm -hmm. whatever. Those things. Yeah, very um, good. Whatever's on the sale. Yeah, the, the, that's another thing. Or watch the sale. Yeah, watch the sale. Yeah, the chicken was 49 cents a pound. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that, yeah. yeah, very good. So that's why you can save on groceries. What about your entertainment? <laughs> we already talked about that, you know, instead of going out to the I mean, younger people, going out to the bar. Or maybe if you and your friends go out to eat a lot, have a potluck. Everybody brings something. Ooh. Um, we just play games yeah. and watch TV. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's what we do. And that's good. It's cheap. Well, your best entertainment is in the summertime because you really do a lot of stuff and get out. Oh, that reminds me of something I was going to say about groceries. If you can, have a garden. Yeah, because then you can really save, and, really and, and, save and then really you can put them in the freezer right. so you have it for the the, uh, the winter. There you go. Not everybody and has, but it, right canning, or you know maybe you don't have room for a garden, but your friend does, and yeah. so you work together and have kind of a community garden. Mm -hmm. We did that with our kids one year when we first moved up here. We had the big garden. Everybody came and helped. Yeah. 
and my my older daughter said, "Well, let's go to mom's grocery store because <laughs> they come and pick the stuff." And while they were out there, they pulled the weeds, and it, it, it made it easy. So that's the way. Um, where are we? On food. Yeah. Okay. Health insurance. There's not a whole lot you can do about that, or your medical expenses. We already dropped the vehicle and the gas. I want, the other one I wanted to talk about is the haircuts. Do you know anybody that does haircuts? We took the haircut down every We took it down to ten dollars. But I, what I was saying is, some people do their own hair, or they know people that do hair that they barter with. And that's another way to save is to barter. You know, if your your friends knows how to cut hair and you know how to make gifts for Christmas, have them cut your hair and you'll make a gift for them. Things like that to trade. Mm. And everybody saves and you get what you want. Mm. So those are ways to make your budget work. And you know. This looks disheartening that it was in the negative, but it's a good way to go through it and see where you can do it better. And then, yeah? What about if I have a budget that's still lacking maybe $300? What if I were a person who was a really great, my mother was, she made the best fudge in the world. Mm -hmm. And at this time of the year, fudge is a very great gift for everybody to get. I'll make you for ten dollars. I'll make you a eight by eight pan of fudge. Mm -hmm. How many fudge with black walnuts? Somebody would get that. That's and right. If I did that to get three hundred, and it's ten, mm -hmm. I get thirty sales. Uh -huh. I got the money I need. That's right. And if I did a lot of them, I have it for advance for the next month. Right. So something like that. Exactly. And that's that's the other thing. The other way to make it work is to increase your income. Be think, be creative about things you can do, like making things get streets. Now, I'm, I'm a little more flexible with this because I have clients, but like one of my clients is my chiropractor, and we had an arrangement where I was maintaining his website, and he was paying me, but the first use it went to was to pay what my insurance didn't pay, and that worked great until his auditor came and said, no, you have to trade checks just to make it look good so we had well, to trade checks but it was still and and now I'm having another agreement with him that same thing that specifies yeah you I'll pay you for this but it first goes to medical expenses and if you have some of those things you can do babysitting mm -hmm. you know lawn mowing different things if you can trade that or barter yeah. that that works really well and I, I have a client that I do bartering with too in fact I have a couple of them that I do with yeah, for me, I have to do the trade check thing for tax purposes, but most people you, could trade stuff. You don't have yeah. to do the check. I mean, you just have to make sure well, you write it down. For him, it was, a, it was a thing with my insurance company that if they audited them and found out we had oh, done yes, that, then the he would have gotten yeah. in trouble. Yeah, that's, so that's we said, different with the medical. That's but fine. for the clients that I have, they report it as an expense, and I report it as income and, and vice versa. Yep. You know, it's when I... Like, I have a client that I do his tax return for, and he does services for me. So, it's when I do his tax return, I put it down as income, what I would have charged him, and then I have the expense of the service that he did for me. Mm -hmm. They're offsetting, but it still shows up. And so, if I got audited by the IRS, they, they would still see that mm -hmm. I had that income. Any other ideas on saving or making more money? Earning more money. Have a garage sale. Yeah, have a garage sale. All those clothes you guys are buying. <laughs> the kids get older. They can't wear the same size clothes every day. They can grow. Car washes. Yeah. Yep. Bake sales. Mm-hmm. Those are all great yeah, ideas. When I was thinking about the gardening, you can't do your own gardening. Maybe go to a community garden. Mm -hmm. that you yeah, we talked about that while you went out to check on your kids. Mm -hmm. They're great. That's a great idea. Yeah. Very good. Any questions, guys? So that's all I have.